I'm Jen Bjorum. I'm the owner of Bjorum Speech Publications, and today I'm going to show you and walk you through what's inside the deck of the R Bjorm Speech Sound Cues. But first I wanted to show you that in the original deck, we do have an R sound. It is our truck sound, and it's just our general R, 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 R sound to help kids understand that sound to letter correspondence and that we just want to pr them to produce that R sound. Um, but our, our deck of sound cues really digs into all the different R's that we see in um, the English language. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It comes with a little guide. It uh, has a list of all the cues that are inside. And on the back, it talks a little bit about how the uh, R cues are formatted and what they mean. So this is a helpful little guide. Uh, and then also following me on Instagram at Bjorn Speech is extra helpful because I will share ways to use the cues there as well. Um, so in our deck, we have 20 cues and these are all the R's we see in the English language. I'm going to use my handy dandy little tub here to throw them in when I'm done. Kids love to do this. So you can always make a tub of some sort to throw the cues in. So this first one is our motorcycle sound, and it's the er sound. So in the word earth, or in the word first, or mermaid, or letter, this is the er sound. Here is our fire truck sound, and this is the ire sound. So in the words like fire, or iron, or tire, so ire, ire, you can kind of make it sound like a little siren on a fire truck. Here's our pirate sound. You can probably all guess what this is, arr. Um, in the word art or barn or star, um, it is our r sound. Here's our oar sound, this little r in a boat oaring away in the water as in orange or unicorn or dinosaur. So this is our or sound. This is our ear sound. This little R guy is, has a really big ear. So as in earache or cereal or year, that is our ear sound. Our air sound is this little R taking off with a kite. This is an airplane or stairs or square. So this is our air. This is our pre-vocalic R sound. So when you are working on those R's in that beginning of words, like red or rope or rain, we don't want to use the motorcycle sound, which is the er, because then we get that er on the front of that word. Er, red, er, rope, er, rain. And we wanna to try to avoid using that er. So this is the barking sound. So it's a quicker front er sound. So r, rain, rope, red. So we try not to get that er, rain, Rope, r, red. That is our r sound or our barking sound. This one is our throw up sound. And boy, is this a favorite with the kids because it's so funny. And kids learn when things are fun and funny. So this is our earl sound, our earl sound. You know, this is a really, really tough sound. We hear a lot of kids have errors in the words world or girl, but this sound kind of shows them exactly what we need to do, which is include that throw up sound. Now we're gonna get into the blends, and a blend is two consonants together. So this one is purr. I have a little boy right now in therapy that substitutes purr for anything grr, but when I remind him Oh, I heard your purr sound. I need to hear your grr sound. 
He usually switches it to der because he's a frenter, D for G. Um, but he's becoming more aware because I show him these cues. So this one is per, as in pretzel, pretend, present. This one is our tiger sound, grr. I love this. Kids love this sound. So as in grape, green, grow, grr. This is our helicopter sound. It sounds like a little helicopter. So tree, truck, train. You can remind them to use their helicopter sound. Oh, this is our lawnmower sound. Dur, 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 as in dream, dragon, drama. This is our dur sound. Ah, here's our cute little furry puppy. This is our fur sound. Frog, frisbee, frozen, free, fur. He's so cute. All right, this is our crow sound, cur, cur. It's our k, er, so as in crab, crown, crayon. This is our cur sound or our crow sound. Burr. I use this one a lot with the kids. We'll get our hands and arms showing how cold we are. Burr. Um, as in bread or breakfast or brain our burr sound. Now, I took all of the vowelized R sounds and you can pair these with the motorcycle to show the child the movement. So I'm gonna drag this motorcycle sound out here really quickly to show you, I gotta find them here, to show you how we can combine these to make those vowelized sounds. So they're actually on the backs of the original speech sound cue cards that are included in the red deck. So you can see the Lady O sound plus the motorcycle sound is the OR sound. Or the tropical bird sound plus the motorcycle sound is the air sound. So if you are having a child that needs to work on that vowel and that R and that movement together, this is a great way to do it. So I wanted to make sure you had both options of the one card, the air, the one that's flying away with the kite, or both cards to show that movement and how there's two different sounds that come together to make the one. All right, so that is the complete R deck. Um, you know, you still have to use your cues for placement when kids are having distorted R's, but you know, this is really great to show them what you're working on. It's great to work on spelling patterns with them. Also, when kids have apraxia of speech and, they're, and they've got a good R, but they're not able to do the movement or they're using the wrong one, these work fantastic for cueing. So I've had really, really good luck with um, my R deck, and I hope you will too. So if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message or right here in the comments, and I would be happy to answer. Thanks so much.